You know, for the longest time, I didn't touch Halo 5. I put it down, I hadn't played with it. But recently, I guess I got a motivation to try to sit down and try to make it to 152. Which is what the last couple months have been devoted to. Is that I'm not too far away. I'm not too incredibly far away. I understand that once I hit 150, I'm technically at the halfway point. Oh, look, I get a signing bonus. Is that I got a shot of doing it. And not an incredible amount of people have actually done it. So I figure, why not set a goal for myself? And it's been long. It's been hard. It's been completely difficult to go and to play virtually nothing but Firefight. I'm going to toss on a boost. And there have been major changes in the way that I play this game. I've sort of focused on thinking that Firefight is a very analytical form of the game. Where I'm thinking more or less on what tools I need to complete a round and how I can best optimize each round. Like how to do it as fast as possible. When you're playing Warzone Firefight, especially Mythic, I only really play Mythic because I get the best XP on return for this sort of thing, is that you have to think of each round as like a puzzle. And whether or not you have the correct piece to complete that puzzle. And I've been doing it more or less for two months. Starting from, I believe, at the very least, 135, maybe 136. I want to think that. All the way up to 149. And that is actually quite a, a large amount of XP to gain. And I have quite a ways left to go as well. So, even though it looks like there's three levels to go, there's quite a few levels oh, worth of actual good. XP Initiating worth of game time in there but the good thing about this is i have just over six months to actually make it to 152 now i've actually run the numbers is that more or less i need around 171,000 xp i didn't mean to do that i need roughly 170 172,000 xp every single day to sort of set a goal for myself to of XP I need to reach every single day. And if I do that, I can actually reach maximum rank by the time that Halo Infinite drops. Now, that's just an average. On some days, I actually do way better than the actual uh, target requires me to do. And some days, I don't uh, do very well at all. Some days, I take off from doing this sort of thing where I want to enjoy time with my family or... Just do something else. I play other games. Like, I recently bought Final Fantasy VII. I never played Final Fantasy VII ever before that point. And I decided to put some time into it and see what that's all about. It's a weird game. It's a product of the... the. It's a, really a product of its time. What did it come out? 90, 97? 95? 97? Something like that? But it's my chance to explore it. Why not? It's like, it was weird going to, to 3D for the first time for Final Fantasy, but otherwise, Firefight it is. Firefight has been my, my, my uh, uh, occupation, I guess one could say. And I'm getting quite a little bit good at it now. I mean, I'm third place right now, and I'm talking to the camera, so I'm taking some of my, uh, uh, my energy via the laws of thermodynamics and putting it into this game, but... There's some days I really wreck it, and some days I don't really do so well. Let's see how this goes. We're starting off strong with basically a grunt round. And grunt rounds are basically gimmies. Anyone can really do it. They, they're they so slow, they walk right in front of you, and I'm going to lose that survival bonus if I'm not careful. Got caught on a, on a fender. There's not, that's not supposed to be there. Oh, boy. And that's fine. It's the next couple rounds that are going to be very interesting. Oh, there you are. Gonna be able to get them. Uh, no more little guys. Oh, or are they? Okay, never mind. That's okay. Targets eliminated. Tied up for a second. Let's see if I can nab a jackal. No, that's okay. Oh, I climbed up to second. We still got a long way to go, though. Now, speed is a big factor in how much experience points I think I I can get. Although there is a small degree of randomness. What are you gonna do? I don't really recommend trying to do this unless you have a pretty decent loadout. And you've basically reached the end of your customization. What I mean by that is that you, you've gotten all the little things. Oh, platoon captain. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that you have most of your cosmetic unlocks. 
That way you can spend more of your time getting rec points to unlocking the permanent loadout options. They're such as all the battle rifles, attack. all of the um, all the armor unlocks. Oh, that way it's something... Ooh! That way it's something that you can make sure that you can put entirely into into your temporary Rex, your your single-use Rex, which is going to help you out, out a lot. Hey, you've got and depending on who you rest. talk to, it might be better to buy silver packs, or it might be ba better to buy uh, gold packs. For me, I think it's a little bit of a mix of both. The vast majority of my purchases go into being freaking dead because of a suicide grunt, but uh, aside from that, it seems that the vast majority of my purchasing goes into silver packs because, generally speaking, they have the more utilitarian tools that I Red use confirmed. for completing whatever rounds. And the way I do that Watch is I earn up uh, rec points in 100,000 point blocks. And I typically spend those 100,000 points and then I save another 100,000 points. How did he know I was even here? God. All right. That's going to suck. Please pick that up, at the very least. If, if I can't kill it, I hope you can. <laughs> and once I get to those end of those 100,000 point blocks, I actually spend all those rec points on mostly silver packs with some gold packs because you never know what you're going to get. So that's good, at least in my opinion, a good way of building up your inventory. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's see what I can do about this race. I missed. That's okay, we got plenty of time to do this. Of course, Plasma Caster, nobody ever uses it in Arena, but in Warzone, it's a phenomenally effective against vehicles. And it will track. So if you're doing Ghost Rounds, it's something that's, well, that'll really help you out. Come on, I want credit for it. Thank you. Of course, if you're not a big player in Warzone, you could probably snag up a couple more kills for free. There we go. Ah! On top where we belong. Still at level 4. I don't have a control case. Yeah, so, uh, of course, if you haven't played in a long time, then you know that Wheelman is going to be very, very useful in later rounds because you're going to want to go around in a vehicle, right? I mean, you're not going to want to go around on foot in Mythic in the final rounds. I think you're going to take down the Warden Eternal. It's not going to work. Crawlers. Oh, uh, saving my points has really helped out because, well, I can essentially bank my rec points at this point. I don't need to worry about uh, something like uh, uh, wanting to unlock new helmets or something like that because I've already earned most of them. And I know that I have an EOD helmet and the reason for that is, again, because I've basically hit my limit with uh, cosmetic unlocks, I can just tuck those points away and I can buy whatever I want with some of those. And because a lot of the point packs use in-game currency to buy, that's what I use. I have put down 150,000 points, which I can earn in maybe, ooh, I want to say maybe an hour or so, along with selling my unnecessary rec packs, or my rec cards, and I can uh, afford those things. And why am I actually banking up in the long run? Because I'm waiting for a sale to happen. Because it will happen, of course, they're rotating in and out their packs, what's going to be worth what. And eventually, and I know it will be, is that they might be selling arena rec packs. Or not arena, I want... Uh, I want uh, Warzone Rec Packs, or Warzone XP Packs. I know they sell it, I know they, they do sell it in the um, in the Microsoft Store, but I'm really trying to avoid using the uh, the microtransactions if I can. And, and maybe, maybe I might get more desperate as time goes on, but I, I certainly hope not. But if I can do this clean, using in-game currency, I'll, I'll be pl plenty, happy, plenty happy with that. Okay. Oh, I thought I had him. That's alright, I'll take the assist. I know I'm supposed to be- oh no, I'm supposed to be killing crawlers. Okay, I thought it was soldiers for a second. That's okay. That's okay. I've been getting the most out of my plasma caster as well. Never thought three, four years ago I'd have a million wrecks. A million wreck points. Because whatever, whenever I had enough, I just uh, put down five thousand for a um, for a silver pack. Whenever I had, whenever I had enough, I just spent all the money I had for it. And it was only by necessity that I had to start buying the gold packs, and I, I didn't know anything about that. Oh, I'm dead. 
and I'm a healthy degree ahead. Usually that's not always a good sign. Uh, the way it is on any game I like to play, I don't necessarily like to be too far ahead. This guy's only 2,000 points behind. That's not in too incredibly far away. I don't like being too far ahead because it might reflect a skill gap between uh, me and the other players. Okay, here's the biggie. Here's the biggie where a lot of people get stuck, and that is the Goblin Jockeys, where people spend more time on these guys than they generally should be because they're actually quite easy to beat if you know what you're doing. And all it really requires is a plasma weapon. And if these guys are smart, a lot of them should have some sort of plasma weapon. Or they should be focusing all their fire on the canopy. I'm getting hit markers, so that means I'm actually not hitting his canopy. Like most MVP shields, plenty weak to plasma. And if you focus fire enough on these guys, you can take it down. Just need concentration. Oh, okay. All right. That was a bad. That was almost a bad time. Yeah, it still could be. Come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. That's one. Okay. Wear him down. Put him in. Getting tagged, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. We got plenty of time. Oh my god, the energy shield trick has helped me out so much on more difficult rounds, especially in the final rounds, where you just uh, don't have to overthink it. Just try to take them down that way. And I understand it's very useful to have uh, guys... Oh, and I got a Void's Tear. Not great, actually. Let's see what I can do with this guy. Ooh. Best possible position for me to be in. How am I not dead? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get this guy. Got him. Got him. Well, he got him, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as somebody gets him, I'm happy. A lot of good stuff in there. But we didn't get the speed bonus. Oh, geez. Round complete. Final round. Wreck confirmed. I want a wraith. A gold wraith Wreck will do confirmed. just fine. I'm almost at the point where I have to do a little bit of buying. All I know right, I said around. before that uh, uh, Promethean bosses. Okay. This uh, we are not doing the night rounds. This is something different. I know I said before that I typically tend to buy in 100,000 point blocks, but that's not necessarily true if I earn more than 100,000 points in one go. That's okay, though. Yeah, this one's a little bit of an easy cleanup. This means that we're doing the dual night round. We're doing the dual nights between that point over there. And it's like I said before, you understand what you're doing. You understand the sort of rounds you're you're playing. Eventually. If you see, it all depends on that number that's back there. So if you see five, it means the Warden Eternal round on this map. If you see six, it means it's a double night round. And it might not necessarily be the easiest to, to fight these guys, but you just have to use your head just a little tiny bit. To brace yourself. Oh, see, I get hit markers, so this is the correct distance. And I'm bracing myself against the building. Even though I'm not necessarily doing a whole lot of damage back here, I am doing enough. So I gotta lower my aim a little bit. I think I'm doing just enough where I'm going to be getting credit. I think I'm a little bit low. A little bit high. going on? I killed something. <laughs> okay, so new plan. Sometimes bracing doesn't always work. The bracing is because every time you fire, you're naturally knocked back a little tiny bit. We got this. We got this. We know what we're doing. If you have a competent team who's run this a few times, that's probably pretty like full of like-minded individuals who's trying reach 152 at the same time. Come on, a little bit higher. 
There it is. We got time. We got time. See, I picked this Wraith thinking that we were probably going to be doing a Wraith round. Or, uh, not a Wraith round, a Warden round. Where we have the uh, four Promethean Knights that are spawning on the building behind me. But this is okay. We're doing quite well. Do I get the credit? N probably not. Probably not going to move fast enough. Okay, we got two minutes to go. So I did get credit for it. That's too bad. And technically, there is no real problem with finishing anywhere else on the chart as long as you finish the game. It's just nice. It's just nice. It's just gravy at that point. There we go. It's just garnish. It's high, Spartans. Did some real nice work down there. So I held my position. That's great. Most kills, most boss takedowns, highest score. That might factor in a little tiny bit. So we'll have to see exactly just how much this is worth. And unfortunately, the cutscene you can't exactly skip. Take it for what it is. Here's another little tip if you're well, relatively high up. If you're in like the 149 range or something like that, high 140s. Higher than 146 at the very least. What you can do is to... What did I do? 16 thou? Okay, that's not too bad. Is to back out and immediately jump back in. Saves me a lot of time, and I changed my I changed my joining requirements to being pretty widespread. Alright, so how do I do here? Maybe I'm willing to put one more game in here. I got a tank. Tank is always good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to do another one of these things here. I'm going to buy some packs up. Oh, okay. So I bought it and I banked it. Okay. No problem. Eh, it's okay. That's not, that's not a problem. I'm aware the game's about to start. Okay. Oh, this ought to be good. Not to say that there isn't any time where the games could be bugged. I mean, on Attack on Sanctum, which is one of the Sanghealy maps. Situation. On more than one occasion, I have uh, noted that there are some rounds where enemies will refuse to spawn and thus we lose the match by default. It's very annoying because you have to burn out the clock. And uh, a lot of people quit for whatever reason, but they throw away whatever XP that they're earning from that because of the fact. Round one. Okay, what we got? So it's a defense round. Pretty armory. easy, but it also means it's an easy way for me to rank up my rec level. And a lot of people who may or may not be watching this, of course, may know this stuff by now. It is pretty late in the game, after all. That's okay. It doesn't stop me from saying anything about it. I'm racking them up, baby. I'm on a roll. Usually when I turn on the camera, I usually play like crap. Hi. Right. That was not smart of me. Uh, uh, so, did did the elite stick himself? <laughs> That's what it looked like to me, anyway. That's all right. We still got a lot of time left in this round. A lot of time left. Very, very good chance for me to rank up to level three if I play my cards correctly. I know the location of the bounce pads. With the man cannons. I got some. And I'm happy to pick up the assist as well. It's still points in my pocket. I can't get in there. Hold on a second. There we go. go we can stall the counter and a lot of people discount the assault rifle but in warzone it's really not bad it's really not a bad assist cannon nor can, is it too bad at taking out well the low level dudes okay pick up some more ammo now they're spawning behind us sometimes that happens actually that's entirely part of the process is that they spawn in front of you then they spawn behind you 
All goes back to what I was saying, that everything is based on like a pattern. Just take your time, wait for your shot. And if you know what you're doing, they'll just line up for you. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm already at level three. Two minutes left. That means I can start banking some assault rifle, uh, um, battle rifles. I got plasmas. Looking good. How are we? There's still some behind us, probably. Yep, yep. My team is engaged. Not anymore. Okay, next. Now, more often than not, if my luck is as good as I think it is, uh, next round is likely going to be a, um, a core defense round. That's not too bad, except that there's one little we got one minute. chance where it could go wrong Just a few is whether or not my teammates decide to drive my Warhog. Okay, so the core, spa uh, so the core spawns in the middle of the opposite uh, digging tunnel. And normally that's not such a bad thing, except that, uh, well, is if I stay in one place, if nobody picks up my Warthog, I can probably do it. But if someone decides to drive my Warthog away from my defensible position, uh, well, then we might have a problem. My level four? Oh, jeez, that's awesome. Okay, let's take one of these boys out. Level four, that's great. So if I if I do well, I'm gonna be rolling around in a tank in no time. Level five is the minimum level. Oh, this is a great round so far. It's making me suspicious. Nope, soldier guard. Ooh, I, 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 maybe maybe I uh, underprepared for this sort of thing, but uh, maybe not. Let's see. It all depends. And it looks like we all have the same idea. Draw my fire, buddy. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have seen that coming. I thought they dropped on the ground. I really, truly thought they dropped on the ground. Okay, so let's roll out with these guys here. And uh, let's see, a sentinel. I'm good. All right, so let's uh, let's take these guys out. Take him from here. Essentially double my magazine size, plus my reserve size for that matter. That's one. Time to break out the level five Oh, kill those guys. Watchers. Squad fatalities of the soldier. Make my life difficult. And he's hiding. Ah, I hate that. I ain't mind the building. He has his meat shield. The Prometheans guarding him. Who's shooting him? I can't get in there. We have time. Never mind. Uh, Jimmy got him. Back up on those level six wrecks, fellas. Level six in round two. That's awesome. So let's roll up to Wheelman and get to rolling around in a tank. Wreck confirmed. It's gonna help us out a lot. Three rounds to go. I'd rather have the armor now than later. Oh, we gotta kill soldiers. All right, this is gonna be unfair. <laughs> this is gonna be totally unfair. The only problem is they put me so far away.
Oh, I move so slow, and I gotta go uphill. Oh, no. I almost missed the Halo CE Scorpion. Actually, I do miss it, because it's so much faster. It reloads a lot slower, though. Damn, okay. Wants to ride with the cool kids. Hope you're ready for level seven Rex. A lot of good stuff in there. Well, sooner or later, I'm gonna be able to afford a nuke in this game. Won't be too long now. Where are they hiding? You. Just a few targets still standing. Oh, dead. Prioritize targets and fire at will. Targets eliminated. Yes, there's our speed bonus. That's what we needed. Level eight Rex are up. You make me so proud. And they're catching up as well. That's not bad. Not at all. Now this one sort of threw me for a loop. I'm not entirely sure what's going to be next. It could be Hunters or Phaetons. Uh, Phaetons I can sort of deal with. I have a tank after all. And they tend to stand still. Round four. No, it's Protection Racket. Defend those forerunner cores. Okay. Okay, I can do this one. Everyone's got heavy armor now. And there's the Phantoms. So they're going to drop in those Elites. Which they always do. Make sure I'm below its firing arc. I don't understand why you're shooting at it. And I don't understand why you don't have a tank right now. Don't let the fire fool you. Things are going just fine. I have the wheel man perk. Just play defensively. Don't get greedy. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Can't quite play defensively if I don't exactly have a life to play with. Wreck confirmed. All right, uh, 18 seconds. Please don't, please don't screw up. I have faith in you guys. You're on camera. So I'm going to change my strategy to blow the living hell out of everything to just run them all over. And uh, Banshee don't discriminate based on rank. Oh, that's not a place I want to be caught in. Don't get caught, don't get caught. Okay. This is not going well. Okay, I'm... Hmm. I'm not playing well this time around. I'm not playing smart. Is the better way of putting it. One target left. Get on it. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. Target's taking damage. And it's partially my fault this time around. Target at 75%. Wreck confirmed. Is that target at 50%? We should be completely swarming around this thing. That we should not be what we should not be doing is sitting back with a sniper rifle that doesn't do anything in this game mode. Not really. Level nine, Rex, Spartan. With everything you got. Okay, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really freaking close. Whoa, I nearly got caught by my own teammate. Gotta wait for my... My shields aren't gonna come back. My shields are toast. Whoa, okay. More bad guys than I thought.
we do it? Maybe. Maybe, but like, we gotta work fast. Play highly defensively. Normally, my Banshee style would have, uh, that style, or my, at least my, my play strategies, wouldn't be half that. I'm out. I'm out. Please, guys, you can do it. You can do it. We got a minute left to go, but just don't let these guys take care of it. No, it's gone. Target's barely hanging on. It's gone. Game over. We got one minute. And it was going so Defense well too. To Game over. We See, that's the problem the is that even if you're at the top of the list, my concern is anybody below me. Ideally, I don't want to be top of the list. If I'm on top, it generally means that uh, people don't are not doing as well as me, and that can go both ways. Normally, it can mean it's great, but hey, in a team-based mode. Not a good thing. Not necessarily a good thing at all. I want to, to know that there are other stronger people. And as I said before, in Firefight, it is absolutely a crapshoot. You can have great people on your team. You can have not so great people on your team. I'm going to open the rest of these packs here. And uh, see what I have to help me out. Technically, each gold pack actually only costs 6,000 points instead... Sorry, 4,000 points instead of... Um, Instead of the usual 10,000? Because I, I, I have everything. I've got everything. I don't need to worry about anything else. Okay, so that uh, fills out some stuff. I got a couple of Sentinel beams there. Very useful against the Grunt Rounds. Got a Corpse Scorpion back. And uh, that is what it is. You win some, you lose some. How are we looking with this? It's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think I earned about... Uh, I'm just going to do like a quick check here. Is that I always keep a running total on my phone as well as on the internet where I go to Halo Tracker. Halo Tracker is an excellent way to actually make a pace for yourself. Okay, so so far I have 69,652 XP points. That's not bad, but I'm about 100,000 short for my quota for today. And I'm going to exceed that quota because it will lower the total amount of XP that I'm going to need in order to hit 152 by the time that uh, Halo Infinite drops. So. I'm going to be playing more, obviously off camera, but it's something for me to put out. I won one, I lost one. It is what it is. Just keep on playing. Take it easy.